So when you're making your flute, the most important area is the windway area. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit of information now that's going to help you more than anything else on these whole series of videos if you want to make a flute that sounds good. Um, as well as the channel that you make being parallel, as I mentioned before, you also need the right dimensions. And when I use the ceramics, the dimensions are kind of built in because the little ceramic piece is uh, three-eighths of an inch across, and then the top piece is a half inch across. And so the width of your windway here, uh, I have found, and flute makers will differ, but I have found that three-eighths works really well for even small flutes and even really big flutes. The more width you put into the windway, the more air you will need to play the flute. So I've found that this is a good balance between volume and use of air. And then the other dimension that's really critical is the distance between the end of the windway and this edge here. And that distance, I have found the optimum distance to be 7.5 millimeters. And the reason I say this dimension in uh, inches and the other one in millimeters is uh, that the millimeter dimension is the more critical and I find I can measure it easier in millimeters. So between those factors you should get a good sound with the flute and the other there's one more really critical factor and that is the way the edge impacts on the air and what you want there is for the airstream as it comes out to hit this edge in a certain way and what I have found to be the optimum is for the edge to be about one-third up from the bottom of the airstream. If you glance along the flute and you see the bottom of the windway then you'll see the edge out beyond it and for the edge to be one-third of the way up in that as you can imagine that windstream coming out is just about optimum. And these particular dimensions are critical. The, the windway area of the flute is the heart and soul of the sound of the flute. So if you follow those directions, you might get a really good flute the first time.